guys and welcome to another episode of Bespoke Architects Daily Pinup. I'm Nicole Walters, Director of Bespoke Architects and I'm about to show you what inspiring architectural images made our Pinterest boards today. A mixed bag of goodies for us today so let's launch straight into it top left as usual. This little apartment very compact you can see laundry in with kitchen which is tucked in under the stair but it was actually the stair tread that caught my eye in that image. Really like the terrazzo look finish of that open stair tread so that's why that one is on the board today. The gallery of the scape house next one moving across top row really liked their fireplace it's a freestanding uh, fireplace and it has wood storage on either end I just really enjoyed the way that sat in the space I also pinned from that particular project the kitchen so that photo of the fireplace is taken from the kitchen looking out into that big open plan sort of living space we can see there with the huge amount of natural light and then we look back in this image toward the kitchen and we can see the material palette is really dark and this plays to my sort of concern around doing an all black kitchen uh, is sort of the the level of light artificial light required to actually make it an effective workspace so just something to keep in mind when you are um, specifying your kitchen finishes and talking to your designers and your architects and your joiners just about how you want that space to function and whether you are comfortable always working in artificial light or whether you should back the palette off ever so slightly just so you get a little bit um, more of a brighter natural uh, working environment that is personal preference obviously but is sort of a concern I raise in the era of the black kitchen the next image is actually a bookstore in Beijing and I just really liked the creative use um, of the spiral in their shop fit out I just thought that was really lovely uh, the urban flight gallery very um, on topic at the moment with the whole pandemic situation and going and hiding yourself away from all the contaminants in sort of the more urban environments but for me it's really that shape that beautiful sort of shape that they've created there it is a parapet it's a, or I should say it's a skillion rather um, just a beautiful beautiful shape and then the contrast between the all glass wall and the all black wall was very appealing for me the next project that caught my eye was this particular house here I really liked it um, from the outside we can see there it's an enormous cantilever over there car parking not so obvious in this first image that we see but here where we've sort of turned the um, corner slightly on that we can see just how extensive that cantilever is offering really good undercover car parking without being inside what I really found interesting in this house though is the staircase treatment so the staircase is landing over here in this glass walled section in the bottom left of that front elevation here is an image of it from the inside so we can see it's actually a concrete spiral leading up inside this sort of glass encasement frameless glass as far as we can see and then they've actually gone and planted it out which is something really really interesting to do uh, the other shot I've included of that staircase is from above looking down we can see that spiral is done in the concrete and then we can see the stair uh, treads and risers or the treads themselves actually black the riser in that image is definitely concrete so just a really interesting project um, that I again I've put it on the cantilevered board or the stairs board it's, I've split that project over a couple of our boards on Pinterest but just really enjoying the cantilever and the depth of that there I mean that's a huge amount of structure that we can't see happening up here in this solid part of that uh, first floor uh, and then again the staircase and the way that they've cocooned that in the glass is really lovely uh, the um, the community warehouse and guest housing this is kind of a very small space it's very versatile we can see here it was the material palette around that kitchen that caught my eye the sort of untreated pine plywood with the terrazzo and then we can see the division of the spaces behind that door here we can actually see it's the bathroom and there's obviously a washing machine underneath that as well so just a really nice use of material in joinery and a really interesting way to sort of put those spaces side by side in a small space so that's why that one is on the board I'm just trying to decide which way to go next the framed house the image that caught my eye initially was this kitchen island bench with this enormous skylight over the top of it and then this um, 
pendant, feature pendant hanging from that skylight above, which I really like. So while this is a dark kitchen, we can see that it's dark uh, on the front here and then the bench and the sink here. We can see loads of natural light. They've gone for a lighter colored white ceiling. The um, workbench area and the splashback and the ceiling of that has all been done in white, which is a really nice contrast. And they've got this beautiful big task lighting pendant that's hanging down at sort of a good working level across that island bench. So I think in contrast to this kitchen up here, which I fear would be too dark as a workspace, I think this one balances the use of the black with some really nice contrasting white. As you can actually see, I've just caught it my own image there. I like the black and white contrast. I think it can work quite well, quite well, and it can certainly work really well in a kitchen where you do want to do the dark and the heavy joinery, maybe offset it with some really crisp white painted plaster, and then using some feature splashbacks in a lighter color as well, just to get it to pop is a really good solution. Uh, and also from that um, project. I really liked this um, vanity unit. What I liked about it was the placement of this mirror. It's not hung, it's sitting on the vanity bench, leaning back, but they have given you some great wall sconces to go with that and is in fact off-centered from the basin. Um, so I just really liked that as a vanity bench. I also like the way the material for the drawer fronts is contrasting. The top smaller drawer is vertical and the lower larger drawers are horizontal. So I really uh, thought that was a beautiful vanity bench. Now this next little apartment was quite fascinating. The, um, the, it caught my eye was this image of the kitchen, well it was actually this image of the kitchen island bench and I thought wow isn't that amazing. Beautiful um, task lighting over that, an induction cooktop, a sink, it's quite compact. Then I saw these solid pieces of joinery and I thought wow that's an interesting way to lead around to a dining room. Here's a shot of it again from the end. I thought fantastic. Don't you love an induction cooktop because it doesn't require any sort of gas piping or any piping to it. Um, obviously the power is running through the legs in this instance and then we can see the exhaust fan up the top is very very subtle in this kitchen. What I didn't realize until I got to this image was that this wall is actually mirrored. So that is not a dining room between those two solid cupboards. That is a mirrored wall reflecting back the outside. What a great way to double the size of that room. Just by adding mirror, you can see its floor all the way up to the roof structure. So it's really deceptive and brilliantly done. And it was when I got to this image and realized that these solid elements were opening and it was actually a full working kitchen inside this sort of solid cupboard that it really, I was really intrigued. So I pinned a couple of images. This is all up on our Pinterest board. Um, and you can see, so you can see in this image here and here, those cupboards are shut. You can see one is open in this image here and within it we have a dishwasher and then we open all of it and we can see the microwave and all the sort of gadgetry you need to run a kitchen. So when we see it now from the exterior, we've still got the mirror above giving the illusion of a much bigger space. But then we can see that it is in fact a cleverly, a really clever, well thought out kitchen. So that's why that made the board, it's just genius. And then also from that project, I did pin the fireplace. It's um, very textured and I really liked that. But again, they've gone and got me with the mirror, making me think the room is much, much bigger than it is. So it's a really clever way to increase the size of your space by adding mirrors, particularly when you can run it floor to ceiling with no frame like this and where, the, where you do get that illusion that the room is double the size that it is. The only um, thing I will say to that is obviously a mirrored wall is going to require a lot more um, cleaning, particularly if you have small children or dogs because they are going to go up and put their fingers and their noses and their tongues and whatever ever, ever else they can find up against that. So just be mindful from um, a maintenance and housekeeping perspective that might be just not for everyone, but I think the... The illusion that this gives this space of being incredibly big when it isn't is worth the hassle of the maintenance. Uh, so that's why that one has made the board today. Uh, the um, gallery of the MW Arc Studio working space, 
I just really liked the landscaping within that courtyard. So that is on our landscape board. Uh, I liked this door handle. So that's on our door furniture board. And then uh, this bathroom. So we can see the toilet. It has a cavity slider door. Vanity, another cavity slider door into the shower. But it was just that material, the use of materials, the fact that there is a courtyard garden sort of beyond that as well is a really lovely integration. Obviously, it's a hotter climate. You can see that by the trees that he used. But I still really like that as a layout and as a solution um, for a small bathroom space. Uh, and moving on, um, this little shelter hotel caught my eye for the materials. It's a solid wood shingle material up the top and then it descends down to a translucent uh, shingle material, which I found really beautiful. And then uh, off that as well um, is the mirrored in the bedroom. It's the same sort of concept. So we're using mirrors that we talked about in this project, giving the illusion of a much bigger room than it is. It's shingled with translucent and mirror. So it's picking up the outside material palette. And then to add just another layer of um, complexity and well thought out design, they've actually done like a, a landscaped wallpaper on the ceiling. So you feel like you are under a forest canopy. And of course they've played that up by using green drapes in front of plantation shutters. And it's just a really interesting um, bed space. You can see it is a commercial space. It is a hotel, um, but I just, I love that. So that is also on our materials board. And that is all the inspiring internet things that we could find to pin today. I leave you with this image of bespoke Derbyshire house number four. This is the European laundry, as we call them here in Australia, where we put our laundries in a cupboard. Uh, and this, is, um, this one is integrated beautifully into the main family bathroom. When these bifold doors are shut, concealing the washer and the dryer, it is the same uh, timber look front as the vanity unit next to it. So thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Bespoke Architects Daily Pinup. Until tomorrow, take care. Bye.